news of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Mary said to him, Rabboni. And Mary announced to the disciples, Vidimus Dominum. In English, I have seen the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, to Mary was given the distinct privilege and the distinct honor to be the first one to whom the risen Lord resurrected from the dead appeared to any of the followers, to any of the disciples. That is why Mary Magdalene is known as the Apostle to the Apostles. That is her distinct title, Apostle to the Apostles. Because it was Mary Magdalene who announced to the Apostles the risen Jesus. Apostola Apostolorum. That is how Mary Magdalene is known. According to a certain spiritual writer, this particular post-resurrection narrative is the greatest recognition story in all biblical literature. Today we have reached the third day of the Easter octave. Mary Magdalene, as I have said, holds the distinction of being the first witness of the resurrection. And to Mary Magdalene belongs the privilege of being the first disciple to meet the risen Savior. The whole story that we read this morning is scattered with indications of Mary Magdalene's love for Jesus. Mary Magdalene went back to the tomb. Mary Magdalene took the message to Peter and the beloved disciple and then she must have been left behind by Peter and the other disciple because apparently Peter and John ran to the tomb immediately so that by the time Mary Magdalene got there, Peter and John were already gone because they wanted to share the good news to the other apostles. Imagine the sight of Mary Magdalene standing alone beside the empty tomb. Imagine Mary Magdalene weeping. Imagine Mary Magdalene crying. Peter and John had already left Mary Magdalene alone. And Mary Magdalene was weeping in solitude. Later on, she found herself conversing with somebody whom she thought is the gardener or the caretaker. And she did not immediately recognize the person she was talking to. And the simple and the poignant fact is that Mary Magdalene could not see the man she was talking to because of her tears. She simply said desperately, Sir, if you are the man who removed the body of my Lord, tell me, where did you bring the body? I will take the body away. Interestingly, Mary Magdalene did not mention the name of Jesus. She simply said, Sir, if you took the body of my Lord, please tell me where you put the body. She did not mention the name of Jesus. It was only when Jesus called her by name, Mary. Did Mary Magdalene recognize that very familiar voice? She knew whose voice it is. It is the voice of the Master. It is the voice of Jesus calling her Mary. And because of the voice recognition, Mary Magdalene shouted in excitement, Rabboni! My dear brothers and sisters, as soon as she had talked to the person, 
she thought to be the gardener, Mary Magdalene again turned to the tomb, and so she returned her back on Jesus. Then came the single word, Mary, and the single answer, Rabboni. And it was a very touching scene. It was a very emotional moment between the risen Lord and the weeping Mary Magdalene. And eventually, the risen Christ instructed her go back to the other disciples and she was to announce to them, I have seen the Lord. And she did. It is good news. It is Easter news. My dear brothers and sisters, in conclusion, there are two simple and yet profound reasons why Mary Magdalene did not recognize the risen Lord right away. What is the first reason why she did not recognize the risen Lord right away? She could not recognize the risen Lord right away because of the tears in her eyes. Because she was crying. Isn't it that when a person is crying, what you see is not so clear and her tears blinded her eyes. That is why she could not see. The second is, Mary Magdalene could not recognize Christ because she was facing in the wrong direction. She was still facing the empty tomb, but the risen Lord is no longer in the empty tomb. My dear brothers and sisters, when sorrow comes, let us never allow our tears to blind our eyes to the reality of the resurrection. Let us never fasten our eyes upon the grave and then we forget about heaven. Let us look at the positive side of life. Let us not be blinded by our tears. Let us not look at the empty tomb because Jesus is not there. He is alive. Amen.